Jimmy Savile playing the porter at Leeds General Infirmary. He was well known as a volunteer, a fundraiser and now an alleged sexual predator. Today the BBC has been told more about what allegedly went on behind closed hospital doors in the middle of the night. He was going into property which he had no right to go into. He wasn't a doctor and he wasn't a nurse and he had no right going in there in the first place. Former night porter at the hospital, Terry Pratt, said he became suspicious when Savile started paying regular night visits with teenage girls. He said the TV star would arrive at one or two o'clock in the morning, ask for the keys to an accommodation block and take the girls there. This is how he described the teenagers. Well, it seems he's starstruck. They didn't say anything. They said Dickie Bird. But their eyes are following him. You know, the, the, you see their eyes watching him, everything he did. He went to one side of the room, the eyes were just following him. You know, just disappear with him. Mr Pratt says Savile would spend several hours with them and then return at about 5am to drop the keys back. The former porter says he never reported Savile's behaviour. We looked at him as a sort of a film star, cult figure, because he'd been on television with Top of the Pops, he did a lot of, lot of things with children, he Stoke Mandeville Hospital, he did a hell of a lot of charity, he did uh, marathons, so he didn't give it no more fault. Today, in a statement, Leeds General Infirmary said, we continue to be shocked by each new allegation. It's important that they're investigated properly. But the hospital says other porters have disputed Mr Pratt's account and that the accommodation block didn't need keys because it had a warden. Police are now investigating allegations of abuse by Jimmy Savile at three hospitals. Leeds General Infirmary says it's waiting for police to give them the go-ahead before it begins its own investigation. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News.